Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about five really great games for two people. Now these are not necessarily made for two people. A lot of them you can play with more people, but I find that these ones either have specific rules or ways to make it really fun for just two players. But let's start with a game that's actually made just for two people. This one is called Mr. Jack and you either play the detective or Jack the Ripper trying to escape the city. It reminds me a lot of chess and moving characters around and trying to guess who's who and there's expansions to it as well it's only meant for two players it's about 30 to 40 minutes to play and it's really fun and intriguing game you can switch between being the detective and mr. Jack as you take turns and it's just a really exciting game and I love the fact that it's specifically just for two players these games really don't exist there's very few two-player games out there and this one is very very good Next up is Cat Lady, and this game is really fun. It's a card game where you're an inspiring cat lady, so you're trying to collect cats, food, clothes, treats, and toys for your different cats, and the person with the most points at the end wins. The cat cards are super cute. It has this really nice hand-drawn feel to it. It's quite the fast game, and it is actually really good for two players. Alex and I have played this a number of times. Next up is Ganesha, and in this game you are decorating a mandala with different gems and trying to make the god Ganesha happy with you. This is a great two-player game because there's actually a board specifically designed for two players. So you have a mandala that is specifically for two people, there's one for three people and one for four, and it's double-sided so you can mix up how the game plays. It has a really nice flow to it, it's very pretty, and there's some strategy involved to it that makes it really fun. The next board game is Five Tribes. And this isn't specifically meant for two players, and it's actually quite fun if you have three or four players, but there are specific rules on what to do if you are playing two players. So this one, you are moving around a ton of meeples, the board gets crazy, and you're moving around these five tribes that each do something different in order to collect victory points and beat your opponent. There are some really cool elements to this, like the jins that give you different types of special abilities, and you also build like palaces and oasises, oasis sai. And it's just a really beautiful, fun game that constantly is changing. And it's one of our favorite games of all time. And the last game is also made by Days of Wonder. It's Small World. And in this game, you are playing one of, I think, about 14 different types of characters who are trying to explore and take over the map. You have different abilities and you collect victory points and money based on how many pieces of land you own after your turn. There's a specific two person board in here and specific two person rules, which makes the game super fun. This is the one that Alex and I have been playing a lot lately. So if you're looking for a game for two people, I highly recommend any of these. They're all very different from each other, but are really fun to play with two different people. So I definitely recommend checking them out. I will leave links to all of them below so you can look into more of the details of each of the games to figure out which ones you're interested in. But like I said, they're also really fun as three to four player games. So if you ever get back into having people People over for board games these could be really great ones in your collection as well be sure to leave in the comments any requests for future board game videos be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye